All right. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Allison Stickle from the Education Alliance. Um, a little bit about us is that we exist to mobilize business and community su support for public schools. Um, so one of the things we're passionate about is partnerships like this that increase college access to students. Um, and today's virtual college visit is made possible with support from the West Virginia Higher Education Policy Commission. Um, and today we are vi I'm excited to be visiting one of my alumni's uh, West Virginia University um, for our 50 minute virtual college visit today. Um, just a heads up, I will be stopping us about three times so that we can really have time to do a Q&A with everyone. And we really want to encourage everyone to interact with us. So um, if any of your students ever have a question throughout the visit, please feel free to throw it in the chat whenever and we will get to them uh, when we stop for the Q&A. Um, so as a practice, if you haven't already, uh, please just share the name of your middle school and how many students you have with you today so we know who's out there. So now I'm going to turn it over to Taylor Spraw from uh, West Virginia University. Uh, hi, Taylor. Hello, everyone. I'm going to just briefly spotlight my video. Um, welcome virtually to West Virginia University. We're so excited to share a little bit of our campus with you all today. Uh, we have four students that are really excited to speak with all of you this afternoon and show you a little bit of what it's like to be a mountaineer and come to West Virginia University. Um, so right now, I am going to turn it over to Abby and Maggie. Um, I'm going to um, spotlight their video and they are going to um, talk to you all. Hi guys, um, my name is Abby. I'm currently a senior here at WVU studying industrial engineering with a minor in communication studies. I'm originally from Charlestown, West Virginia. Um, and then one of my best friends, Maggie, she's holding the camera right now. You'll see her in a little bit, um, but she is a junior studying elementary education with a minor in event planning, and she's from Weirton, West Virginia, so from the Northern Panhandle. Um, but we're currently in one of my favorite buildings on campus. This is our engineering sciences building. Um, as an engineering major, I spend a lot of time in here going to class and doing a bunch of stuff in between. Um, so when you come to college, you're going to have a little bit of a different schedule than you you do currently in middle school. Um, you'll still have class mostly every day, but you won't be in class all day every day. You'll get a lot of um, opportunities to choose what you want to take in college as well as what time you want to have class. Um, so if you don't like getting up in the morning, you could actually schedule it so that you can sleep in a little bit later, which I know I am not an early riser, so I like to be able to sleep in a little bit. Um, but basically, you'll schedule classes um, and you'll have a different class every day with a different person. So for example, I have a class right now that I have on Tuesdays and Thursdays with that one professor, but then I have another class on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with another professor. Um, professors are like our teachers here at the university. Um, and also with that, I get to see different people in my classes every day, which is going to make it really fun and exciting. I've gotten to meet a lot of people um, throughout different classes that I've had at the university and kind of make my own best friends from all of the different classes I've been in. Um, but when you get to the university, it's really exciting because you get to schedule everything, you get to meet new people. Um, and being in class is a lot of fun, but there are also a lot of things that you can do outside of the classroom, which we're actually standing outside of one of my favorite things right now, which is our Lane Innovation Hub. Um, it's kind of like a makerspace, if you've heard of that before, where you can go in as a student and make anything that you would like to based on the machines and materials they have. Um, so they have a bunch of different 3D printers, laser cutters, um, water jets, a bunch of different things in there that you're able to use as a student, um, or you can give them ideas to help you make. So people make Christmas gifts. I know they, um, if you ever heard of a Yeti cup before, they'll engrave it for you. Um, so I personally have made one for my mom. I engraved the Yeti cup for her for Christmas. There's a lot of really cool stuff that happens with it. Um, but right now we're right outside of our um, micro lab. It's going to be all the prototyping stuff. We can go ahead in there. Go over here. Yeah, you can go all the way around if you want to. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Joe Sarasoli. I am a senior mechanical aero here at WVU. Um, you guys are mechatronics, right? Or 211? 
Pretty cool though. Um, so there's currently a class that's kind of happening in there actually. So you can use it in your free time or you actually can take classes where you get to learn everything that's in it, which I always thought was really cool. I took a class once a few semesters ago um, where every day in the class we were 3D coding stuff. Um, and then we were able to go into the lab and print it and use the different machines um, to make it real life. But we'll go and kind of peer into the other two labs that we have on campus. So this over here on my right is the rapid prototyping lab. You can kind of see in the front here, they have some 3D printers. They also have um, a laser cutter machine in there. They have a vacuum sealing machine as well as um, some water jet and a bunch of other stuff. And then right across the hall from it, they have an advanced manufacturing lab. So that one has all the really big machinery in there um, where they do a lot of stuff for the university, a lot of service projects. They, um, When COVID hit, they made a bunch of the face shields for the health sciences area of campus. But right next door to it is actually a look inside of what a classroom looks like. So we can just kind of peer in there just so you can see kind of what the classroom will look like. It looks a little different than what you're probably used to. Um, so you can see there's students currently in there, in their classes, taking notes, being good students. Um, you could either have the theater seating like that, which I think is the most comfortable style. If you've ever been in the movie theater, it kind of looks like that a little bit, or you can have desks that, like that you're used to. Um, but also outside of class, you got to eat, you got to go get some food. Um, and this building actually has one of my favorite food options in it. It's called Bits and Bites. So we'll go ahead down there and show you a little bit about the options that you're going to have once you get to college. So I'm able to come in here as a student. I come in between classes, get a you know a, diet, a big diet coke, um, and they have you know chicken tenders, French fries, hamburgers. You get to kind of choose what you want to eat and when you want to eat every day. Um, but we're gonna go ahead transition over to Zach and Jamie, and they're gonna talk a lot about other things to get involved. Right, awesome. So we are going to transition over to Zach and Jamie. I'm going to spotlight their video now. And they're going to need to unmute to chat with us. Got it. <laughs> All right. Well, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Zach. I'm currently a senior studying civil engineering with a minor in sustainable low rise residential construction. New York. So uh, everybody thinks that when you come to college and everything is just about, you know, getting your education and just spending time in the classroom, but there's so much fun things to do here when you're outside of the classroom. So college is all about finding your, uh, you know, other than just getting your education, it's about finding out who you are and finding new hobbies, making new friends and everything like that. So one of the places that you can do that is right here in our student rec center. This place is huge. There's a ton of great things to do uh, here in this building to stay in shape and everything. So right here behind me, we got our, uh, we got our aquatic center. This is where you can take a dip in the pool after a hot day or uh, in the winter time, if it's a little bit cold outside, you guys can go over to our hot tub. And just across from us from here, we can see our gym. So if you're really into this time, uh, uh, treadmills, ellipticals, we've got Pelotons, all sorts of weight. But let's go ahead and take a walk this way so we can talk about some of the other things that we have. So right over here is, this is the partition wall uh, that is for the office for uh, Adventure West Virginia. They're in charge of putting on some really fun trips here in the state of West Virginia for our students. So if you're hiking, whitewater, hiking, camping, canoeing, stuff like that, West Virginia, uh, Virginia office is going to be the place where you're going to want to go. They do a ton of fun trips like that all throughout the entire school year, all available to you as a student. So me personally, one of the main ways that I like to say, uh, you know, stay fit and at school has been by joining school. Yeah, so 
All right. So I think that we have lost connection with Zach and Janie, but Allie is in route right now to go hotspot them. So we will finish that up for you guys. Um, I am going to um, turn it back over. I guess I'll turn it over to you so you can ask your prompt question and then we can turn it back over to um, Abby and Maggie. In the okay. <laughs> All right, must have lost you, lost you guys there real quick. But yeah, uh, so I'm on the water ski team and it's a ton of fun. And uh, our, basically, we water ski with people from all around the country in the fall semester. It's a ton of fun. So when I'm outside of the classroom, that's one of the main ways that I like to spend a lot of the time spending time with my family or with, uh, with my water ski family, my new friends that I made there and getting to practice over on nearby Deep Creek Lake over in Maryland. If I could just stop you, is there a way so we could So I think now what's going to happen is we are going to actually send it back over to Abby so she can talk a little bit about a little bit more about her major in some academics. All right, so we will um, we will have it for next time. We'll have Zach and Janie go ahead and turn that camera so that we're able to see Zach right right side up. <laughs> um, but we will if we want to ask our prompt now, and then we'll get ready to turn right. it back over. Well, thank you for sharing. Um, all of that, it, it's really good to see the space. I know that working with low bandwidth can, you know, get messy, but I'm excited for you guys all to see the rec center uh, shortly because um, it really is a, a, a neat, neat place. Um, but we're going to start off with a really open up ended question. Like, so ask your students, what is one question you want to ask this college? We got some hands raised, so if you just want to type those in. But as we're kind of waiting for those to come in, um, you know, the prototyping lab, I, I think it's pretty new because when I was there, um, I don't think it, it was in development, but um, is that something that can be um, accessed at any point by students or is, are there hours? I want to make sure, Ab Abby, did you hear the question by chance? So this, I, I know a, a, you know, light information on the um, Innovation Hub. So it's actually really cool. Students can work with the um, instructors that in the employees that are working in the Innovation Hub, they can go in, you can get training on this. You don't have to be an engineering student um, and you can learn how to use the equipment, go through the training that's necessary. Um, it is, I believe, during work hours. They don't want you going in there in the middle of the night and working on any projects when there's no one working there. But um, I know in the past, I've dropped in, asked them to engrave items like Abby mentioned on a Yeti cup before, and they've been able to do that for me. And I wasn't even an engineering student. So really, really awesome. Cool. And uh, we have a few rolling in now. Uh, Montcalm Elementary wants to know how many students are currently enrolled. Awesome. So um, in our Morgantown campus, we have about 25,000 students, which is, yeah, I see a lot of this going on in the crowd. That is a lot of students. So look around your classroom. You might have 20 to 30 students in your classroom. Um, sometimes classes look like that, but sometimes a class with a math class might have 100 or more students in it. So um, they can get really big, but they also can be pretty small when you get into those classes where you're learning how to be an engineer or how to be a business student and or, or a teacher. So um, it might look really big, but it, you can get into some pretty small classes. Excellent. And then the next question is, uh, how many restaurants are there on campus? That is a good question. Um, so there are two main dining halls in campus. So that is going to be Hatfields, which is down in the mountain lair, and it's like a cafeteria. And same thing um, with Cafe Evansdale, which is over on where my side of campus, where I'm at right now. Um, and then there are there's a Chick Fil A on campus. There, it, yes the gas. Um, there is a Panda Express. So there are a ton of different eatery options on campus, along with the fact that we're in a town. So there's restaurants off campus too. 
Right. And um, we'll just do one more here. So what makes Dovu different from other schools and why should students want to go there? That is an awesome question. And I'm sure we'll get to hear Abby and Maggie talk a little bit about this because they'll touch a little bit on being roommates and all that fun stuff. But I think what is really cool about WVU is that it feels like we're one big family. Um, if you've ever seen the West Virginia University symbol, it's just the dub V. Um, that is something, yep, you can see Andrew has it on his shirt. Um, that's just something that is really awesome. And if you have that on your shirt or you're a part of that community, or the school, everybody kind of feels like family. Um, it doesn't matter if you know someone personally or if you've just met them, they feel like family just because you have that tie to WVU. So it kind of gives you family members that are all across the world that can help you um, at any point of your life. Great. Um, and then the last question we had were about uh, clubs available for undergrads. And I'm sure you guys will probably touch on that. Um, but we can move forward now and uh, move on with yeah. the tour. Yeah, we definitely will touch on different ways to get involved. Um, I am briefly going to pass it back over to Zach and see if we can get that little uh, blip of the rec center again going. Um, and I see Janie has her camera pulled up there. I'm going to spotlight Zach for us and see if we can hear him a little bit better and see the wreck briefly before we switch it back over to Abby and Maggie. All right, sorry for the technical difficulties before everybody. So I'll just go ahead and start over and reintroduce myself. But I'm, my name is Zach. I'm currently a senior studying civil engineering with a minor in sustainable low rise residential construction. And I come from a really small town uh, in upstate New York, which is just like, uh, which is located just outside of Syracuse, New York. So uh, right now we are located in our student rec center. So when you come to college, it's not only about just getting your education and everything. It's also about finding out who you are, what your passions are and finding some new hobbies and making a lot of friends and overall just having a lot of fun while you're here. So there's a ton of fun ways that you can spend all of your free time when you're outside of the classroom. One of the ways that a lot of our students like to do that is right here in our student rec center. So there's this place is absolutely huge. There's a ton of great stuff in here. So right behind me, we got our pool area. So we got a lap pool and then a regular pool. Uh, so if it's like a really hot day, you guys can go in there, take a dip and everything. But if it's also like in the winter time and it's a really cold day, chilled to the bone, you guys can take a dip in the hot tub as well. So across from us, we also have a weight center. So if you guys are really into weightlifting, spending some time at the gym, uh, you really like running on the treadmill and stuff, you're gonna have the opportunity to do so as well. But we're gonna go ahead and kind of take a short little walk through here. So let's go ahead and check out what else the rec center has to offer. So right over here, we got the Office for Adventure West Virginia. So the Office of Adventure West Virginia is in charge of putting on all these really fun trips here in the state of West Virginia all throughout the whole year that are going to all be available to you as a student. So we do rock climbing, backpacking, whitewater rafting, all that fun stuff all year round. So if you are really into the outdoors and all those kind of activities, you can sign up for one of those trips as a student and they're a ton of fun. A couple years ago, I actually went on a whitewater rafting trip my freshman year and I had a blast. So that's definitely something that you can look forward to uh, doing on your weekends. And right over here, we have our indoor 65 foot tall rock climbing wall. This is a lot, this place is a lot of fun. And actually, but I just started one of my new, brand new hobbies. I just got into bouldering. So bouldering is actually, in my opinion, cooler than rock climbing because it's just like rock climbing, but you're doing it without a rope. So not to flex a little bit, but it's a lot of fun. So if you want to just try it maybe for the first time, or if you're already really into rock climbing, you can just come here, climb. It's open all day, uh, every, every single day of the week. And it's definitely a ton of fun. And uh, yeah, it's some uh, made some new fun buddies uh, just by coming here to the rack. And right here behind these windows, we have a couple of our gymnasiums. So even if you're, uh, you know, if you don't really want to come here and do some weightlifting and stuff, but you're really into basketball, playing volleyball, badminton, all that stuff still is, is going to be available to you. Uh, also here in our rec center. So uh, now I don't actually spend a lot of time here in my free time, uh, other than whenever I come to the rock ball. What I actually spend a lot of my free time doing is uh, being a member of my club sport team. So I played sports in high school and I'm sure a lot of you guys play sports too. Uh, now I wasn't really quite good enough at football to play at our division one team, uh, but I still wanted to stay active and still play a sport and everything. So I decided to join a club, uh, one of our club teams. 
So it's not actually like a division one sport or anything, but it's still competitive. We still get to compete with students from all around the country and compete against their club team. So I'm actually a member of our club water ski team. This is a ton of fun uh, all, all, all season long in the fall semester. We could be in these tournaments that take up a whole weekend with students from across the country and it is a ton of fun. So, uh, but yeah, other than spending a lot of time with, uh, you know, my family, my friends that I've made on the, uh, that I've made on the uh, club water ski team, definitely like to spend a lot of time here in Morgantown going out to eat with some of my friends. Uh, definitely my favorite way to spend all the money that I make being a tour guide here at the university. <laughs> So uh, with that being said, I think we're going to go ahead and send things back over to you guys. All right, awesome. So we are going to get back on track. We will turn it over to Abby and Maggie, and they're going to share a little bit more with us. All right, hello everyone. So you guys didn't see my face earlier, but I'm Maggie. I was the one hiding behind the camera uh, with Abby. Uh, so yeah, right now we are in a classroom here at the university. So Abby did talk a little bit about um, classes that we have here. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, this class size fits about 30 students. So probably pretty similar uh, to some of the class sizes you have in your guys' school. Uh, for myself personally, I don't have class in this exact classroom, but one of my absolute favorite classes I have and have had during my journey here at the university has been my art class. Uh, personally, I never thought that I was really that artistic or really that good at art, uh, but I actually found out that it was a really great way to kind of let my creativity flow. And I think that shows that, you know, a class that you think you might not even like or enjoy, uh, you might actually find out to be, you know, one of your favorites. What about you, Abby? One of my favorite classes has definitely been my capstone course. So um, when you're a college student, your senior year of your um, degree, you're gonna take a capstone course and it's like a project that you work on. Um, and so for mine personally, I had to have an internship. And so I actually got to intern at Toyota um, with them for about seven months. So I was seeing a bunch of engines and transmissions being made. So I don't know if any of your parents drive Toyotas, um, but there's a chance I could have been next to one of the engines that is in their car actually. Um, and so for my capstone, project we get to kind of further what we did at our internship and use all like the stuff that we've learned in school and apply it to the real world so that's been really like rewarding and really cool to see um, but actually we are actually roommates so that's a pretty well-known unknown fact about us um, so when we're not in class we typically are hanging out together um, because we're roomies um, what is it like being roommates with me I guess I would say it's pretty fun I mean Abby is my best friend so it's definitely like having like a 24-7 sleepover uh, which I always think is so much fun it's so nice that I'm able to just walk into Abby's room in our apartment anytime I have a question or just want to chat or anything like that uh, we're able to hang out all the time and also something that's really nice is even though we're different majors we actually since we live together we actually come to class together uh, so for you guys you guys might you know have your parents drive you to school or you might take the school bus to get to class uh, for us we actually do drive to campus um, but if I'm heading from a class over here on our Evansdale area of campus uh, and I want to head to our downtown area of campus we actually have a system that's completely unique to the university called the personal rapid transit transit system. I always like to call it like a very cool but chill roller coaster. Uh, you get to be in your own little cart uh, and it, you get to go on a track and it'll take you uh, to exactly where you need to go. I know that's personally my favorite way uh, to get around campus uh, and it only takes me about you know five minutes to get from class to class which is really cool. Yeah if you guys have ever been to like Disney World before or Disneyland they have the monorail. That's what I usually compare it to because it kind of looks exactly like that. Um, and then we also have city buses that are kind of like the buses that you guys used to get to school, um, but they'll take us to places on campus. So if we need to go to different uh, school buildings, we can use those, or it can also take us to off campus places. Like there's one that goes to Target. Um, we're both really big fans of Target. <laughs> there's also one that will take us all the way to Pittsburgh to go to the airport, which is about an hour from here. Um, so it's really easy to get around and kind of get to experience all all of campus when you're here. Um, but I would say like the thing I spend a lot of time in is obviously classes as a college mm -hmm. student. Um, this size of a classroom is pretty typical to what I'm used to um, now that I'm in my um, further into my degree at the university. Um, but I have had some like larger classrooms that kind of can be really big and have about like 100 people in them. Um, so it's this room, just a lot bigger. 
What about you, Maggie? Have you had some of those? I've definitely had a couple of those. My actually smallest class that I have is actually 12 students. So probably smaller than a lot of your guys' classes, uh, which is really cool because that means that I can make some really good friends in my classes. But I definitely have had those classes that have been like 100 people. Uh, but I always think it's really exciting because you get to you know make 100 new friends. You get to know a lot of different people and get to meet a lot of, a lot of new people, which I think is really fun and exciting. Uh, that class classroom would look a little bit different than the one we are in right now. Uh, those comfy seats that Abby was mentioning, those are in a lot of like those bigger classes, um, which is, you know, really cool because you get to sit in some comfy seats when you're in class. Yeah. And I know Taylor had talked a little bit about food on campus and like places to eat. And I had showed you guys the place that's in the bottom floor of this building. Um, but we actually just ate at one of our favorite restaurants on campus right before getting on here with you guys. We had lunch before. Um, it's called World of Wings. It's known as Wow for short. Uh, so uh, definitely has, I think, wow worthy fries. The French fries are our favorite thing there. For sure. um, I think they have the best fries on campus. But as Taylor mentioned, we do have a Chick-fil-A on campus. It's a very popular option. I feel like I eat there every single day my freshman year what about you what's your favorite I, I would say you know wow is is pretty hard to compete it with but I do have to say classic Chick-fil-A uh personally when I grew up like my area the closest Chick-fil-A was like a half hour away so it was always like a special treat to be able to go to Chick-fil-A so I definitely think that Chick-fil-A was probably my favorite my freshman year but they also added in a Panda Express uh, my freshman year as well which was so good because I love orange chicken so it was absolutely delicious and I ate at Panda Express a lot my second semester yeah and I know Taylor mentioned like the cafeterias and how those work um basically I know our personal both our favorites is Cafe Evansdale because it's the largest one on campus um so you can go in and get basically any kind of food that you want they always have like a main course so it's kind of like in high or in, in school that you're now when you go to lunch they have the lunch menu so they always have the main stuff um but they always have other stuff as well so like they have a pizza bar a pasta bar um a grill station where they make burgers fries chicken tenders all that kind of stuff so you kind of get to choose what you want to eat every day which makes it really fun and exciting because there's so many different options um we're going to go ahead and switch it back over to you guys okay bye guys um i think this is actually a good time to catch up on some questions um but we do also have a, a prompted question for y'all um what is the most surprising thing that you've learned about this college so far um and while those come in uh we have some uh, questions from South Middle, and this might bring it back to you, Abby, is uh, what other engineering programs do you offer? Yeah, I'm going to do a little vlog style. Um, so we have 13 different types of engineering that we offer at the university. Um, so I have, I'm personally industrial engineering, which I know a lot of people don't really know what that is. It's a lot of process improvement and looking at like human habits. If you've ever been to like, um, say, a Costco or a Sam's Club and you look up and say you're standing in front of the cereal and you look up and there's like cleaning product that is up, up, up above it. That's all been like studied to see what will make it the easiest for them to move it to the next location. Um, but we also offer civil engineering, which has a lot to do with like construction and buildings, um, mechanical and aerospace. If you really like um, space travel and all that kind of stuff, that would be a really cool major to get into. Um, if you like computers, we offer computer science, computer engineering, cybersecurity, um, and and just a bunch of different ones. There's 13 different ones for you to choose from. So definitely like a lot of options for you to think about. Yeah, I, I definitely encourage people to check out the engineering programs at their view because there are 13, which is a lot. And yeah. um, it can go in a lot of different directions. If you, like, I think biomedical is also a big one too. Um, so if you're mm -hmm. interested in more uh, like a biology or genetics, that's a really cool uh, subset to go into. Um, but then the next question is, what is the acceptance rate at the review? All right, so offhand, I'm not sure what the percentage is, but we are a land grant institution. So that's a big word, kind of might sound confusing. It basically means that the land that the university, that the school sits on, was given to the university in order to provide education to as many people in the state as possible. So we want as many of you to come to West Virginia University as possible um, because we want you to further your education and we want you to grow in a field in a workplace that you are super interested in. Um, so we definitely are welcoming to all. 
Great. Um, and are the students required to have roommates? Students are not required to have roommates. You can opt for the um, option to have a single style dorm room. You're actually only required to live on campus in the residence halls um, for your first year. Um, and then typically we see a lot of students move off campus like Abby and Maggie and get an apartment and um, rent that with some friends and um, yeah, be roommates in that way. Great, and uh, you might touch on this later, but what is the cost per year to attend? So it's very different. Depends on if you're an in-state versus an out-of-state student versus what you wanna study and how many years it's gonna take. Um, but what's really awesome is that there are scholarships available for students to apply for um, and uh, also scholarships where um, they just get applied to your account. And um, when you submit your application, they review which uh, scholarships you're eligible for determined by your grades. And maybe if you've taken a couple tests to see um, where you land on that. So there is definitely scholarships and money out there for you to get to help pay for college. Excellent. You talked a little bit about um, having a, do a single dorm room, uh, but how big can they expect the dorm rooms to be? How does that vary? So, so by, without mentioning dimensions, it's sort of a, a hard question. Um, they're not really, really big rooms. So you could imagine your bedroom at home maybe and having two beds in there, splitting it with a roommate. You don't have a bathroom typically in a community style residence hall, which is where you walk down the hallway with your shower caddy and your towel and you go down the hallway and you take a shower in the big old bathroom with a bunch of showers and a bunch of toilets. Um, and then you walk back down the hall and you go back to your bedroom. So it's not like you have a bathroom in every single residence hall right in your bedroom. There's some that are offered that have bathrooms attached to them. You might have to share them with a neighbor. Um, but in the typical community style living, um, which a lot of people do end up living in their first year here on campus, um, it's not a huge, huge bedroom, but it's more than enough space for you and a roommate to have your own area to study and um, to live in for that first year. Great, and we'll just ask this one last question, then we'll pass it back to you. Um, what kind of sports are offered and do you have recreation sports? Yeah, so there are a ton of different sports offered here. I'm sure you've seen um, the different sport activities, whether it be basketball, football, gymnastics, all those good sports. Um, and we also have intramural sports, which um, are provided over at the rec center. And you heard Zach talk about his club sports that he um, participates in. So variety of different sports offered here on campus. You can almost say, if you think of one, we probably have it offered here. Um, and if we don't, I'm sure you can start a club with you and a few of your friends and get it started. Yes, yeah, and it's never too late to start looking into colleges and what they offer. Um, utilize their websites, utilize everything you can because um, it's important to get that decision being made early. Um, but I will go ahead and pass it off to you guys for the rest of the tour. All right, awesome. I am going to spotlight back to Zach and Janie, um, and they are going to take it over for their next portion of their presentation. Hi guys, I'm Janie. I was behind the camera earlier when Zach was talking to you guys. A little bit about me is that I'm a freshman currently at WVU. Um, I'm currently studying um, elementary education um, with a minor in special education. So I hope to be an elementary teacher like um, some of your guys' teachers um, later on um, once I graduate um, from WVU. But um, some ways that I like uh, to get involved here at WVU when I'm not inside of my classes is, we kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but WVU has over 500 clubs and organizations. I am a part of one called Charge, and it's where every week on Monday night, I work out with a group of girls, and we do a different workout every single week. And it's very um, super fun to keep me motivated to work out when I'm not in classes, and it helps me um, with my stress that I might have um, coming from my classes. So it's a great way to stay active um, during my time here at WVU. Yeah, so another thing I like to do uh, every single weekend is we have this really fun event called WVU Up All Night. So it's over at one of our uh, student unions, which the student union is kind of like the living room that we have on campus. Uh, it's where like a lot of eatery options are located, but uh, it, it's kind of like where all the students can really just come together. So WVU puts on this event called WVU Up All Night every single weekend. So it's from 
of so from 10 p.m. until all the way until 2 a.m. every single Friday and Saturday. So there's a lot of fun stuff that's going on there. Typically, they'll have like one big main event. In the past, uh, Build a Bear Workshop came one year and 5,000 students got to show up and make their own teddy bear for free. Uh, we've also had mechanical bull riding. We've had uh, mini golf. We've had laser tag. In the wintertime, we've even had ice skating outside as well. But on top of that, there's going to be a lot of other fun stuff too. Uh, we have a movie theater in our in our uh, Mountain Lair Student Union. So they'll play, be playing some movies during this time. We also have a VR gaming lounge and just like a regular gaming lounge too. So if you're really big into video games or if you want to try VR for the first time, that's really fun too. Uh, but yeah, that, uh, oh yeah. And also in the, uh, in the mountain layer, we've also got a bowling alley and a pool hall as well. So lots of fun stuff to do there. Favorite, uh, definitely though my favorite part is the free food uh, from 10 p.m. until midnight. They've got like tater tots, chicken fingers, pizza, all that good stuff. But then from midnight until two, they've got uh, a whole bunch of breakfast food and everything. So like French toast, sausage, biscuits, and gravy. So lots of fun stuff. I literally try to make my way over there at least once every single weekend. <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, other than other than that, um, oh yeah, you want to talk about some of the classes that we had, to, uh, some of the fitness classes. Yeah, so here at the rec center, there are a tons of different uh, classes that students can actually take for free because at the rec center, um, all the amenities here are free for students. So um, for example, um, I take some spin classes as well as some yoga, but there are a bunch of different options for other students to get into um, things like F45 and HIT classes as well. So once you're a student here, you can take any of those classes um, if you want to. Yeah, so, um, so kind of piggybacking off of that, uh, Jane and I have talked a lot about, you know, kind of different ways you can stay fit and everything, and a lot about a lot of stuff about sports today. But uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, things to do outside of class regarding sports is just, uh, of course, going to the games. Uh, my favorite games to go to definitely got to be the football games in the fall season. Yes. Also got to love going to the basketball games. Tons and tons of fun. Uh, just getting together with a bunch of fellow Mountaineers cheering on our team. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I also really like going to the baseball games, too. It's a little bit smaller of a crowd, but the, but the stadium is really, really nice. And the best part about being a student here and like going to the games is that the tickets don't cost you a thing. You, you don't have to pay. You don't have to pay anything for any of the tickets. So even if like your family has gone to the game before, you guys got to buy tickets. No, just because you're a student, you get you basically just show up to the game and you get to go just because you're a student here. Uh, so that's definitely a lot of fun. What's your favorite sport you like to go to? Uh, my favorite sporting event is probably the football games. I've been going to um, all the football games since I was two months old as a baby. I think I learned country roads before I learned the ABCs. Um, so I definitely love seeing country roads um, at every single football home game that ends in a win. And I just love the atmosphere at the football stadium and cheering on the football team. All right. Well, with all that being said, I think we're going to go ahead and take things back over to you guys. All right. Awesome. We are going to, um, I don't know if you have a prompt for us before we move along. So if you do. Um, no, Jesse, I, I can share the surprising uh, thing that Mountaineer Middle said. Uh, they loved all the options with eat. Uh, there are to eat, um, that there can be a varied number of students in each class, and the theater style seating was something that they thought was really cool, too. Awesome. So. Yeah, those are all really awesome. All right, so I'm going to turn it back over to Abby, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about her journey in coming to WVU and um, how, what, like things that she did when she was your all's age and in high school did to um, how it impacted her way to WVU. Hi, guys. Um, so I did a lot of different things growing up. Um, one of the main things I did that Zach and Janie have talked a lot about is that I was involved in sports. Um, I grew up playing soccer, basketball, softball, and I ran cross country. So I was definitely an athlete. Um, I played basketball and softball all throughout high school, um, but I also did a bunch of other different organizations too. Um, so I was in 4-H for most of my life growing up, which has been something I've continued with here at the university. Um, we have a collegiate 4-H club here. And so that's been something that I really love to give back to. I got to work two summers in West Virginia 4-H. I don't know if any, if all of you guys are from West Virginia, if only some of you guys are, um, but if anyone's in 4-H, you know that we go to 4-H camp every summer. Um, and so I got to basically be a counselor at different camps throughout the entire summer. I got to travel the entire state of West Virginia um, and teach STEM activities at these camps and just kind of have the best summer of my life. Um, and I actually applied to do that again this upcoming summer. So I'm really excited to do that again. Um, but I also 
was in marching band when I was in high school. So um, I always like to have my tours guess what instrument I play, but unfortunately we have to mute the audio while, um, while we're talking. So I'll just tell you guys, I actually don't play an instrument. I'm in the color guard. So if you've ever been to a high school marching band performance or anything like that, you might've seen people that are like spinning the flags or spinning rifles or sabers. That's something that I did in high school. And I continued with it once I got here to college. So um, I've been in the marching band. The full name of our marching band is the Pride of West Virginia. Um, and so I've been a member of that for four years and it's been one of the most rewarding experiences I've ever had in my life because I get to perform with 300 of my best friends in front of 60,000 Mountaineer fans, which is a lot of people, 60,000. You probably haven't even seen that many people in one place before, um, but it is definitely one of my favorite traditions as a student. Um, for me personally, I knew that I wanted to come to WVU because of marching band as well as being able to stay involved in 4-H and being able to study industrial engineering. They all kind of fit in together to kind of help me make my decision of where I wanted to go to school. I also grew up as a proud West Virginian and I wanted to continue um, to live in West Virginia and to give back to the state as much as I could. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I really chose to come to WVU. Um, but one of the reasons why I love staying here and getting up every day and going to school and going to work and all of that stuff is because of the people I've met here at the university, as well as in the entire state of West Virginia. Um, they're some of the kindest people that you'll ever meet. Uh, when I was working for Toyota, um, I was actually down in Southern West Virginia and I actually blew one of my tires once on my car. I got a nail stuck in my tire. Um, and one of my neighbors who I'd never met before, he sat out there with me at 6 a.m. to help me change it. So some of the nicest people you'll meet are here in the state of West Virginia and here on campus. They also just keep me happy and they keep me wanting to go to class every day um, and focus on my school and also help me get involved on campus. Um, but I think that's about all that we have for you guys today. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it back over um, to you guys. Awesome. Thank you so much um, for that, Abby, and giving us that perspective. I'm going to um, turn it back over briefly to Janie and Zach so that they can tell you all bye and wish you well. And then I'm just going to show you um, a little presentation. Well, thank you for visiting with us virtually uh, today, everybody. It was a, a pleasure getting to talk to all of you. So uh, yeah, once again, I'm Zach, and thank you guys for uh, joining today. Once again, I'm Janie, guys. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you here at WVU. Awesome. All right. So real quick before we hop off of here, I know we have a few minutes. I just want to go ahead um, and share my screen. Go ahead and get that going for you. So can you all see my screen? Let's see here. Um, yep. Okay, perfect. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so I just kind of want to go over a few of the things you're probably wondering, all right, how can I get myself to WVU? So there's a couple steps that you can start to prepare for. I know um, a lot of you, if not all of you are in middle school, so it's, it feels like it might be a couple years off, but really preparing for college is right out in front of you. Um, so your first year of high school, your freshman year of high school, which is kind of right around the corner for most of you, um, you're going to be able to start to explore different programs or pathways, um, a great resource for you and your teachers. You could take our BuzzFeed quiz. Um, the link is right there. It's go period WVU period edu slash purpose. Um, you are able to take this, kind of see what you're interested in, what you might want to pursue in college. Um, you definitely want to start working on your study skills, start, sort of perfect that note taking, keeping up with with what your teacher's writing on the chalkboard or the whiteboard in class. Um, helping um, with time management is going to be huge as well. Uh, get involved. If there's clubs at your middle school, um, different clubs that get you interacting with other students, whether it's sports or activities, um, definitely start getting involved, seeing what you like. And also, uh, awesome plug here is summer camps. WVU offers a lot of summer camps through different colleges. So summer period WVU period edu slash activities. Uh, also a great resource for you and your teachers to see which summer camps you might be able to attend um, and see kind of what you're interested in doing for the rest of your life. And you can also make a list of the colleges you might like to attend. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we've talked you into putting WVU on that list today, um, but definitely start making that list. Um, let's see here. I pressed too many buttons. Awesome. So in your second year of high school, we'll talk about year one and year two. So year two of high school, um, 
start practicing test taking because you're definitely going to have to take some tests in order to get to college. And we like to say beef up your resume. So you're probably like, what the heck is a resume? A resume is a list that you're going to give to any future colleges or any future employers that says what you've done and how you've been good at it and everything in between. Um, so you definitely want to get prepare that. Getting involved is a key to a successful resume. Um, learn more about the colleges that you're interested in or any college classes that will help you get to college um, and finalize that list of the colleges that you might want to visit. So it's never too early to start visiting colleges and that's why we're here today having these conversations. I'm going to go ahead and stop my screen share and just say thank you to everybody for um, listening to our students today and paying attention. I see that Andrew was able to drop those links in the um, chat, so your teachers are going to be able to access those. Um, I got the sunlight coming in behind me. There we go. Um, and we're just very thankful that you attended and got to virtually tour WVU today. Thank you so much for that, Taylor. It was awesome. I love your presentations every year. I think. Um, there is so much to offer there. And as a W alumni, I feel like it's still the tip of the iceberg. Um, there's a lot to explore there, uh, everyone. It's never too early to do so. Um, so explore them, reach out to them, ask questions. Uh, that's what they're there for. Um, but we're just gonna go ahead and end with one last question. And that is name one positive quality that makes W unique. I can go and start with mine. Um, I think the PRT is super unique. Um, I, there's only a handful of transportation systems like that in the world. And I always felt really cool going from campus to campus, um, going on the PRT. And it's also a part of the culture. Um, I remember there were days where uh, they, I think it's called the PRT cram or something where there's like a, an old PRT there and, and students can walk by and like uh, get in the PRT together. Um, but a couple of the answers are coming in. There's marching band, the rec center, the mountain layer, yeah, and all the all those locations are very um, there. There's a lot to them, a lot of layers. So the PRT um, is actually behind me. I don't know if you're okay. able to see it. I might be able if I spotlight my video. You can kind of see there's the track is up behind me. So there's actually a bridge right here that comes across, so students can walk across that bridge. And the carts are right behind me. They get on those carts, and then it sends them along on a kind of like a train track um, without the without the train track. It's just like a monorail system. Um, and that's how I don't, the sun's kind of glaring in, but it is, it is right there behind me. You can see perfectly that there's a cart. Try to get very this cool. <laughs> <laughs> very, very cool. Um, okay. Well, I think that's about all we have. Um, so thank you, Taylor and everyone else from WVU for guiding today's college visit. Um, I'll go ahead and end the recording. Thank you all for participating. We had